Okay guys, uh, we're gonna start with a demonstration. On the right hand side, I have a BK M150 uh, True P25 radio. And on the left, I have a, a Kenwood NX700 uh, that's in analog uh, mode. And the uh, output of the NX700 is being fed into the um, uh, laptop there through a sound blaster, a USB sound card. And uh, it's running the DSD plus uh, decoder software and I'm just going to do a, uh, a comparison back and forth between the the two just to show you what uh, how they sound and uh, how it works so I'm going to start off with the uh, the true BK uh, radio on the right and it's on a separate channel than the one on the left so here we go testing, testing. One, one two three, two, three four. four and um, that is the BK and now if I uh, change channels I can come over here and I'll come off this uh, the Kenwood C4 FM and then um, into the uh, PC where I got uh, some amplified speakers here on the on the laptop here uh, and you can uh, get a, a listen for that so here we go testing one two three four and that's the uh, that's the that's the laptop in the uh, uh, every now and again on the laptop you get a little bit of distorted audio but for the most part it sounds pretty much identical uh, just a difference in the speaker quality and um, a little a little other finer uh, audio qualities but totally listenable and uh, uh, understandable so okay that's the um, that's the demo now I'm going to get into just the particulars of a uh, how to get the software set up and hook it up to your Kenwood uh, so you can turn it into a P25 receiver. So stand by for that. Okay, to get the uh, P25 uh, receiver working, uh, you first have to go to this uh, website, the dsdplus.com, and download the uh, these two files here. Uh, they're zip files. And uh, once you download them uh, from the site and uh, save them to your uh, um, hard drive, go ahead and unzip them uh, and blow them up into their two folders. And then combine those two folders into a single folder, and it will have all these uh, files in here. Um, and you want to put it under uh, just like something easy, uh, easy to get to here. Uh, once you have the files uh, all in a single folder, Go ahead and uh, go to your dsbplus.exe file and right click on it and create a shortcut. And uh, once you create a shortcut, right click on that uh, new file, the shortcut file, and open up properties. And in that properties, uh, you're going to want to come here to the target box and add a space uh, minus uh, lowercase f1 uh, little thing to it. And what that does is when it when the program fires up, it'll only uh, want to uh, decode uh, uh, P25, um, not um, um, all the other uh, modulation schemes that it can do. So um, once you uh, get that, hit apply, and then you can go ahead and drag this uh, shortcut to your desktop, which is where you'll uh, launch the program from. And then uh, once the program launches up, um, You'll see it come up here, and um, let me, uh, before I show you that, let's get into the um, um, connections here on the uh, Kenwood, on the 25 DB25 output, you're going to want to use pins 19, your detector output, and 18, your ground, and we're going to take those and uh, hook them up to our, our Sound Blaster uh, USB card. Um, Pay attention to what kind of um, uh, what whatever kind of sound card you have, whether you have a a three pin or a two pin uh, mic input, because uh, you may have either one. Um, I noticed that uh, on mine, uh, the it would actually decode way down to like ten uh, microphone level of ten, but um, um, I found that the what seemed to me to be the 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 smoothest, no distortion ever. Gave me a level of uh, 75 on my microphone input, but 
that's uh, all relative to whatever uh, you know that you might have there. So um, here is the um, um, uh, look at the, the the software here when you when you fire it up, you'll see it come up and it'll give you your uh, your input for your microphone, and then it'll give you your uh, output uh, for your speakers or wherever you want to go. And you can see right here where it just has the one uh, P25 phase one decoding. And then uh, once you get a good decode, you'll see all these numbers uh, pile up and in this information over here in the event log uh, go, go out. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, so the, the uh, like I said, C4FM uh, digital modulation comes in, the, the PC decodes it and turns it back into analog audio um, from the, uh, it's also using the, uh, you know, the AMB uh, uh, vocoder uh, codec to, to do the uh, audio. And then like I said, it just changes it back into analog audio uh, output uh, to go to your speakers. So uh, that's, the, uh, that's the procedure. I, I found it, it, it worked. Uh, there are a lot of others. If, if you bowl up the, um, the uh, text here, uh, you can see the, oh, let me uh, see if I can get this uh, further, I can't, I can't do it. The, um, if you open up the, uh, the text file uh, for the DSD Plus, it's got all the uh, info that tells you all about all the, the, the switches, and this is where I found out about the decode, the P25. It also has some uh, fine tweaking uh, if you wanted to try and do that, uh, although I found just the straight, straight uh, out of the box kind of settings uh, work. So, um, but anyway, um, that's uh, that's the setup, and it, uh, like I said, it, it works really, uh, it works really well. So, don't go throwing away those old uh, analog receivers yet; uh, they may still have a purpose. All right, that's about it. I'll talk to you soon.